if you've got old product or um, products from the last season and you're trying to figure out what to do with them, one thing that you can do in your closed customer group is to have like a deal of the day type auction. So this is a graphic that I made up in Canva. So it does talk about the rules. So I do my bidding in $1 increments. And what I do is I start the starting bid point pretty low. Um, and then I, you know, have them bid in $1 increments and include shipping or you know any of that sort of thing. But I start the bidding low, so then people are more likely to comment and get kind of get a really good deal. So I also have this caveat right here that if they want it for free, they can comment party. So if they see something that they really, really like, um, they can comment party and it freezes the, um, the auction and they automatically win. And then when they have a qualifying party, um, all, then I would ship it to them for free. So qualifying party can be whatever you want it to be. So a 31, it's a $200, minimum order or $200 or 200 in uh, minimum sales. But what I do, depending on the size of the bundle, if it's a really big bundle, I might say when your party hits 300 or 400, just so that way you're making that bundle work best for your business. Um, and then same thing, if they're thinking about becoming a consultant, they can comment that they're in. And then once I get that notification that they have enrolled, then I will um, send that to them. So here's the, so those are the directions. And then right here, um, I just, you know, take, basic pictures, or if you don't have really good pictures, you can use stock images, you can Google stuff, you can Pinterest stuff. And again, you can see my starting bid is really low. The closing bid I have is not above retail price. So it was a $35 bag and then $10 for personalization. And so then they're going to bid in $1 increments. Now, what I have done the last few weeks um, is I make sure to stay consistent with posting. So here's a couple of things that you can do to be really successful with these deals of the day. The first thing is to post them, um, you know, the same time or the same day every week. So that way our customers, they know and they're looking for the deal of the day. So that could be like a Friday fun deal or a Monday deal, you know, whatever that is, just have it be something consistent that your customers are looking forward to, okay? And then behind the scenes, what I do is um, I'll send personal messages. So I'll send about 10 personal messages a day the day before the day of and the day after the bidding starts um, to let them know hey deal of the day is back did you see this um, because I want to create interaction and so they're I'm going to include a customer link or a, group, or a link to my customer group so that way they're going to uh, be able to click on the link in the Facebook message. It's going to take them right there and they can check it out. And then hopefully people who haven't been engaged in my group or interacting in my group in a while, they might see something that they would like. Um, and then they would be more likely to, you know, comment, especially when the starting bid is so low. Now, here's one thing I do once the auction is totally closed. So the last three times I have had um, these uh, auctions happen and nobody commented party. Remember, this is how they can get it for free. So they were all just regular bids. Now, what I did is when I reached out to the winner and I said, okay, so I want to give you one last shot. Um, I can send you an invoice for this amount and I use Square. I can send you an invoice for this amount or if you would like to do, you know, a super easy pop-up party, you invite some people, I'll show off some products. Once your party or, or once your shopping link gets fill in the blank, um, in sales, I'll send this to you for free. And then I say, can I send you a couple of party date options? That's going to hopefully get a response back. Um, and the three times that I have messaged the winners of the deal of the day, they didn't comment, do you want it for free? Or they didn't comment party. But when I followed up with them and asked them if they wanted to get it for free, um, all three of them said yes. Now that doesn't mean they're all gonna say yes every single time, but when I did that extra step, I turned the products that I had, just kind of you know hanging out, old products, old prints, um, maybe things that I've only used once, you know, to, to kind of see a personalization idea. I turned those products into parties into connecting with new customers, into future sales, and hopefully into booking more parties like that at the party.